Yo, 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 guys, what's going on? X is here. I'm just going to give you guys a little brief tutorial on some software that I've been using for a long time and some new software I'm having to work with just due to some, uh, I don't even know what's been going on. It could have just been because I needed to update my graphics drivers. I just did that a little bit ago. I haven't actually tried recording with OBS on a game since then, but I, I recorded with OBS for a very, very long time. I actually did not know this whole studio thing was out. I just got this yesterday. Uh, I've been recording with OBS for about four years, pretty much ever since I got my laptop. And I'm just trying to optimize the best recording for people who don't have all this high-end recording software and need something free. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of OBS. This is what a lot of the uh, pro guys use to record, stream, do both at the same time. It doesn't really require much, very optimizable. As you see, when you're just recording your screen here, you have all the different boxes that just keep going on and on forever and ever. It's kind of cool, but this is not what I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, just start off with, I'll go over OBS and then I'll go over some of the other options uh, that you might have. Uh, best recording experience for games. I'm specifically going to be going over Fortnite though today. Uh, so what we have right here is uh, open broadcasting software. It's free. Very customizable. This is the studio. I don't really know what studio mode is just yet. But if you're just trying to record a game, I'm going to show you guys the best settings to have and all that. Uh, so you can go over here. Go to settings, uh, you should show recordings, all that. There's some other settings over here. You can transform stuff, add stuff. Uh, you can always do different scenes. Right over here, you can add a scene. Let's see, we'll just name recording. Change the name of it. Adds a whole new scene into the uh, thing. So now as you see, it doesn't have all that stuff going on. I can actually add another recording source to this. Over here, if we want to go over here, I can go to game capture properties. So right now, as you see, this is set up to record Fortnite. Uh, you can have the, all these drop-down boxes. You can choose whatever program you have up to record, or you can just record your screen. Uh, all these options, you can go to Add. There is Audio Input Capture, Output Capture, Browser Source, Color Source. I don't really know what all these do. Uh, display Capture, that's what I'm using to record my screen. It's great for recording. I use this to record my graphic design stuff, animation, video editing, all that stuff. Then you have Game Capture. You can select all your different sources. So if you want to do this, just click this, Let's say Fortnite. And then we'll just choose the, uh, you can choose Capture Any Full Screen Application, which will just capture any game. If you want to capture a specific window or anything, click this. And then if you want to go, where is it, right here. Uh, you can just click Epic Games Launcher, open that, and then as you see, now that's what's being recorded. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open real quick, and I'm going to show you guys, um, actually I'll go ahead and turn off this scene. Yeah, you can you can click on and off for the scenes, as you guys can see there. Um, I'm going to add, we'll do game capture, this, capture any full screen application. Um, so this should record uh, Fortnite when I open it up. I'm going to drag that over to my second monitor real quick. We'll go ahead and launch Fortnite. Uh, the reason I haven't been using OBS to record my Fortnite gameplay, I've been trying to figure it out. I hope it was just my graphics driver because I love OBS a lot. Uh, but also, this other program I want to go over, you probably heard of it, NVIDIA, uh, Shadowplay. Very easy to use, especially if you're already in game and you let's say you just don't have two monitors, you don't want to leave the game to start recording. You can actually just in game open up, uh, kind of like you can do with some other paid recording software, but Shadow Plays free. Most people think that Shadow Plays just for you know capturing replays and all that, but you can actually record a full gameplay and it records in whatever your highest resolution and whatever frames per second you want it. Uh, very clear. I'm going to put up some videos here in a minute showing you guys what the difference between what OBS was doing in Fortnite versus Shadowplay in case you guys have the same problems. Like I said, my laptop's four years old. Uh, used to be like top of the line when I was doing YouTube my first time around. And now it's just kind of like a mediocre. takes me a while to do anything anymore. So, uh, Like I said in my introduction video, I'm going to be joining the National Guard. As soon as I get back from basic training before I go to college, I will be purchasing like a decked out MacBook Pro because I have the money and I won't be having to worry about college debt. So, Fortnite open, there's this new update or whatever. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn down the 
game volume is some, so you guys don't hear that the whole time. Alright, so, did it not open? Alright, yeah, so, right here. Uh, hold on real quick, it's actually not recording that. I'm gonna turn off the game capture real quick. Actually, wait, let's see. I'll turn off that. Add. Uh, let's do display. There we go. Alright, so now you guys can see the uh, GeForce experience. So, what I'm doing, I'm just in game. And then I just hit Alt Z is the bending that's already set up. Right over here, you have broadcast live. You can stream from this. You have instant replay, which I believe just cycles through. Instant replay is a clip of a kill or whatever. They have it set up to where in Fortnite, it'll only record your kills and deaths if you want the shadow play in the background. Now, if you want to record a full gameplay, just click record. And then you can click start recording. Go to settings if you want. Uh, frame rate and bit rate has been moving to settings. Yeah, go to settings. All right, so then you can set the quality right here. Uh, instant replay length, you can have that set to up to 20 minutes. Uh, resolution, I have it high. 60 frame rates, highest bit rate, in-game resolution, which is uh, 1080p. So you can very, very customizable, uh, very simple to use in-game as well. You can go over here. I believe you can set up a cam. Um, then if you want to go over here, you can connect to any social media site that you want to hook up to. Uh, you can choose what you want to lay it out. You can turn on FPS counter, all that stuff, which is also useful. You can see your viewers, comments, all that stuff. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, if you want to set up an uh, automatic record, whatever. The, uh, you can also capture screenshots. You can see right here we have the um, manual recording, all F9. Uh, but you can set that up to whatever you want. Uh, over here you can go to recording, set, change the location, I just have mine set the videos. Highlights, these are the highlight videos which go to temporary highlights. Now, the highlight thing, if you guys don't save it after the game, I found out that they just erase, which is kind of a pain because I didn't know that at first, but figured that out. Uh, video capture down here, same thing, high quality, we already looked at all that though. Audio. You can set up what mic you want. I have my Kraken set up right now. Volume, any of that stuff you want to be going towards the recording. Notifications. Uh, if you want to get the in-game notifications, you can t uh, have those on or off. Um, I'm just going to leave all those on. Privacy control. I uh, don't mess with that stuff. So yeah, that is... This is so far, NVIDIA, my favorite capture for in-game stuff. Now... I want to show you guys something real quick. Um, actually, I'll just play the pre-recorded clip so you guys don't have to watch me play a game. So that's that. Now, if you guys have like an external capture device, I also, I also have one. I bought it to record Xbox gameplay, any of that stuff. I have the uh, Hopog, Hopapog, however you say it, recording. But yeah, so far that's been like my best go-to's for uh, recording. Now I'm going to show you guys the best settings to have. So if you go to the settings, which you can just click right here or go up to file settings, uh, all it brings up all the settings. You can change your language, theme. There's Acree, dark. I like the Acree best. Um, snap sources, any of that sensitivities streaming you can hook it up to twitch YouTube all these other things I don't even think anyone uses those as though set up a stream key streaming service uh, right then go over to output and you can change the encoder uh, the video bitrate now I found that if you can if your computer can run it you want that to be like 30,000 now for me OBS, like I said, was lagging, so I haven't been trying it at any higher bitrate, but um, I just have mine set at 10,000 right now, and that's been doing alright, so if you want it 10,000, it's good, anywhere 10,000, 50,000, 30,000, 20,000, whatever you want to do works for that. Audio, you have all these different audio channels you can set up. Now, I purposely just have my headset on, you know, I got my audio, my mic, I'm all good to go, and also the Razor Kraken mic, it's pretty good, pretty clear. Obviously, if I was just recording like a sit-down video, I'd use my Yeti, 
but when I'm in game, I don't want to have a mic in my face, so I got the Razor Kraken for that reason. Because I don't know if you guys had the uh, first Razor Kraken, the lime green ones, that mic sucked. They actually really did a good job with the uh, 7.1 version 2s. I never had the version 1, so I don't know how that was. You can able push to talk any of that stuff if you want. Most people who record just want it going the whole time, though, so that'd be just be very annoying. Now, since I am actually recording, I can't change any of this, but this is the base canvas resolution up here, and then the output scale. This is pretty much what you want to mess with right here, the output scale. I have mine downsizing to 1280 by 720 and 30 frames a second just because OBS was having some trouble recording at uh, 1280 or 1080p, 60 FPS, whereas shadow play not having any problems. I'll actually show you guys some clips uh, that I'm talking about. Uh, hot keys, you can have all these hot keys. There's tons and tons of customizable options. Uh, if you guys need help setting those up or have any questions about that, just comment below. Uh, over here, just have a bunch of junk. You don't really need to mess with any of this stuff unless you want to get into all that. Alright, so then let me pull up some recordings real quick and um, I'll show you guys. This is the Shadow Play um, recording. This isn't a highlight video. So, this is just when I set it up to record. Very smooth, there's no laggy lagginess or I was doing really bad earlier by the way I'm not that good at Fortnite honestly I've won one game and it was a duo game with my friend who's also his name is Gavin as well all right so I got a kill there so kills right there as you see now if you want to pop up this this actually shows the uh, just the kill it starts a little bit before you got the kill and then shows your kill and also you can have it show your deaths um, I'll be making the tips and tricks even though I'm not that good. I know the tips and tricks I just haven't mastered them yet. So for those of you new guy, I'm, I mean, I'm better than like a new guy Like I can destroy new players, but anyone who's a little better than that not that well against uh, I did not save my death like I said in game you actually have to save what you want So yeah, that's that here's that's another right here. kill oh, Records oh, audio okay. Okay, all coming, that coming down, coming down. Uh, it records your mic shot. audio and the game it. audio, so it's very useful for in-game stuff. I destroyed this dude. Yeah, here we go. Ah, uh, Dubai. Boom. Gone. Now, let me see if I have... I think I actually deleted the videos of um, the laggy ones from OBS, but they were laggy. You guys know what a laggy video looks like. You don't want to see that. So if you're having trouble with OBS... Uh, I would recommend the shadow play, but if you can use OBS, I personally prefer it just because it's so customizable. Whereas shadow play is just in game, uh, very limited options, but it's perfect for new uh, new YouTubers getting started who's not doing anything crazy and you don't need a lot of sources, mics, any of that stuff. Or if you just want to hop in game, quick open it up, record a video, or if you just want to put together a kill montage, something like that, it's perfect for all that stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I hope this helped all you guys out who have been trouble uh, recording any type of gameplay. Um, specifically, this is going out for Fortnite people right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions about software, or help, need, need help setting up anything, just let me know. I'll try to help you guys out as best as I can. Like I said, I'm using these softwares over four years now. So take care, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. X is out.